Welcome back to Jobline and News 12 Long Island. Joining me once again is Joanne Dabrowski, founder and president of YPI Consultants, LLC. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with the show <laughs> yeah. um, a, a, because it's, very, it's really a very interesting, very interesting subject. And one of the things we're going to talk about now is body language. And I tell people, you know, look, when you go like this, you're, you're telling a person, you're, you know, they're a pain in your neck. <laughs> and when, and when, when you're picking off imaginary lint off your pants, you're telling me you're bored. You're bored. You know, there's a tremendous amount that you can read off people's body language, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, and we were talking about the handshake, too, which, is, which has to be done just right and not, not, not causing pain or, right, or, or anything else. That's right, not power either. Uh, lots of different things. Uh, let's take a look at some pictures, all right, okay. that demonstrate some body language, and then we'll talk some more. Okay. Uh, show us what we're looking at here. Two gentlemen. Suppose you're called into your manager's office mm -hmm. or even a job interview right. and you walk into the room and you see the gentleman on the left. Right. You're not going to be as open and feel comfortable to have an open discussion with the individual as you would on the right. Mm -hmm. Just by his body language. They both have the power, mm. the power steeple, but it's the, the expression on their face and the body and how rigid he is on the left and how more relaxed he is on the right. The guy on the right though looks like he wants to sell me something. <laughs> but, uh, okay, he let, probably does. Let, let's look at the next two. The thinker, the thinker on the left is not a happy thinker. Right. He's deep in thought and he's really, really looks troubled. Right. The one on the right is having more thoughts in the green instead of in the red. Mm. You know, his, financial is, his financials are doing well. He's either having a conversation with someone where it's positive. And you're reading that right off the facial expression Absolutely. And, and, and the body language and, and the tone that he's setting there. Look at the difference in the two shots. Look yeah. at his facial expressions. Right, right. You see that right in the, in the eyes speak. Okay, and here's the next set. The handshake. He's offering you a handshake where he's he's got his arm higher. See the angle right. and how he, the angle is coming and his facial expressions. He's relaxed. He's happy and he's open. On the right, he's not. He's digging right at you. He's headed right. He's stressed. Right. It's not comfortable conversation he's about to have with you. Right. Whatever the subject is, it's not comfortable. He's not comfortable with it, but it's almost like let's get it done and over with and move on to the next thing. Right, right. Uh, and, and I find that with job interviews that, that it's especially, especially important because if you're sitting in, and I've had people that sit, you know, like way back in their chair like this, and I'm going, why or would this. you sit like that? Or exactly, they sit like this and that means like well, I don't know what that means but 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 it's not good and, and and or they sit you know too forward and like they're hanging on every word so you can you, you're giving your whole story away uh, on a job interview if you don't even sit in the right position you're absolutely right between your attire being proper mm -hmm. and how you present yourself in front of the individual you're that you're being interviewed with that you're speaking with it could be whether it's a job interview or a sales pitch that you're making mm -hmm. your body language speaks and you need to understand your body language so you can interpret what's coming back towards you from the individual you're speaking with and that's really really powerful I remember reading in a book that uh, 70 percent of communication is nonverbal and, and I proved it to myself. I watched a, a, a sitcom, one of my favorite sitcoms way back, called Cheers. Oh, and I watched it without the sound. And I still laughed through the whole episode. It's amazing. So, so that just shows you that it's true, that, that, that everything about uh, you know, her hair uh, could tell you if it was going to be a romantic scene or, or they were going to have an argument. Uh, everything about everyone's body language, you can just look at body language, become a student of it, and really know what people are thinking. And it helps in a business meeting, too. It, oh, it really does. And understanding the chairs, too, when you sit in a business meeting. Mm -hmm. Understanding the level of the chairs. That's also another signal. There was one gentleman who <coughs> excuse me, was very tall and said he came across that and didn't understand why they put him in a low chair. Mm. And the gentleman he was speaking with was in a higher chair. Mm -hmm. And he said, I've come across that but never knew. And I said, it's power. No accident that uh, when you watch Letterman or Leno, they're sitting higher than their guests. Absolutely. It's power. It's owning your mm. ownership. It, you're owning your space. Mm -hmm. There's so many different even <coughs> angles. How you sit and where you sit is power play. Mm -hmm. And the number of people that you're interviewing or speaking with, mm -hmm. understand the power plays. If you're making a presentation and where you want to sit and why, mm -hmm. understand the perception and understanding of the people around you. All right. All right let's give some, uh, some more bullets. Uh, so how effective is your body language? Uh, facial expressions add to your message. Absolutely. You speak without, in other words, without words, mm -hmm. with your eyes. Okay. Uh, you can tell if a person is approachable. Being smiling, happy, makes a huge difference. Okay. Welcoming. Your handshake, confident or limp, and no fist bumps, I guess. No fist bumps and no pshh. Okay. And then your attitude is expressed in your body language, which it is. 
how you stand, how you present yourself, whether your arms are folded, you're you know, comfortable with who you are, mm -hmm. comfortable with your attire, mm -hmm. presence, shoulders back, suck in your stomach just a little tiny bit, mm -hmm. and you gain inches and you gain confidence. You feel so much stronger. And so, it's really So we're great. talking about posture too. Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, on a job interview, posture is, is very important. Oh, it, it is so important because it sends a signal that if you're a sloucher, that you're lazy. Yeah. And you don't want people to think that when you're really not, because mm. you're, you're there for a job, and you want to be productive, and you want to be there, and you want to land the job, and you want to have that positive image. You want to be comfortable in who you are and how you represent yourself. All right, Joanne. Uh, if people want to get in touch with you, they can uh, they can send you an email. Uh, just contact YPA Consultants. Um, you can email Joanne at uh, y Joanne at YPAConsultants.com. That information is also on News12.com under the Numbers and Links tab. Uh, and thanks to my guests and you at home for watching Jobline. Until next time, I'm Scott Possessor. Happy Hunting.